partner with over a hundred local restaurants that are immigrant, women, and minority owned, run, or led. And we essentially help them book catering opportunities at large corporate offices. I am the co-founder, president, and CMO of Little Spoon. We make fresh organic baby food, we make vitamins. We have an amazing parenting community called Is This Normal that enable people to directly connect with each other. I am the co-founder and CEO at Eat Off Beat. We are a catering company. So we basically hire talented home cooks who happen to be refugees by status. We train them to become professional chefs and then we deliver their food. When you look at a lot of families across America and they're, they're struggling, whether it's just getting simple things like groceries, balancing working from home, or potentially have even lost a job and we've partnered up with Feeding America and we've donated over a hundred thousand dollars worth of our baby food so that families everywhere can have access to fresh food. Luckily we have a team that is incredibly resilient, that is incredibly adaptable and we created a, an entirely new product that we currently work on. Those are what we call stay-at-home care packages uh, with a work week's worth of food and those boxes are really designed for people who are now working from home. We decided to start a fundraiser. We've been using the money that we've raised to purchase meals from the restaurants that are still open and taking those meals and donating them to food insecure neighborhoods and communities, frontline workers and nursing homes. I'm at Corazon de Mexico today. Um, Corazon is a mother-daughter business and we'll be doing a delivery for 500 people with World Central Kitchen today. I am constantly re-evaluating every single one of our decisions. Should we instead be safe, stay home? When do we draw the line? We, we're an essential business. We're making food, so we're helping New York get fed. We want to be able to help the restaurants, but I know we're working really hard to feed those that are working uh, on the front lines and, and trying to do their best to get through this period. Every food delivery service, every restaurant, everybody's working overtime to continue to help bring um, fresh food and prepared food uh, to your door. And yeah, I... reporter Zach Dahlheimer shows us how one Hampton girl is taking action to help service members. This is a house I built. Meet seven-year-old Abigail Pearson. Is this how you want to see? No. Is this how you want to see? No. She often spends time in this room of her Hampton home. So that's why we always have to wash our hands, go out to lunch dates, and go to daddy and daughter dance and all that stuff. But we can't do it because of the COVID-19. But something else. What if we also help um, the poor animals too? I think we should do this, Santa. It has been on her mind. It says I'm a leader. Since joining the Girl Scouts, she's found a passion for helping others. I think that's the right thing to do. From organizing a shoe drive to making items for local foster care at a wildlife rehab facility. But her latest project, using her own money and donations, she's putting together essential packs for members of the USNS Laramie. Trying to protect them from COVID-19, so we're trying our best to make them as fast as we can. One of our Girl Scout laws is make the world a better place, and so that's what we're doing. We're making the world a better place. Over here are some of the 80 packs that Abigail has made for members of the USNS Laramie. Inside each of these packs, you find items such as deodorant, shampoo, soap, and Girl Scout cookies. It doesn't matter how big you are, how small you are, how smart you are, how much you have or don't have. It's your heart that matters. For Abigail, she doesn't plan on slowing down anytime soon. We're going to keep on making them until we, in, until, until we see that it's over and stuff. In Hampton, Zach Dahlheimer, News 3. She is precious. A broadcasting legend for more than 50 years, David Jensen has plenty of memories to savor. He's still working, enjoying his passion for music. But now he's revealed he's living with Parkinson's. As I go through this period of uncertainty, it's important for me to get out there and spread the word about Parkinson's and, and let people know about the disease who don't know about the disease but only hear about the bad things. I felt, I must say, devastated when I found out. Then I realized that was a silly emotion to feel because there's, there's a lot worse things that can happen. I tell you, there's a crazy atmosphere in here tonight. Always upbeat on screen, on radio, and nicknamed the kid, David Jensen has always had a positive approach to life. He was diagnosed with Parkinson's five years ago, but kept it secret until now. In my experience, the feeling of loneliness, you could be in a crowded room and still feel very lonely because, you, if, particularly if you want to keep it a secret from your best friends, it's a team effort to try and, and help the person lift their moods, lift their spirits. My wife is also full of Icelandic tough, tough love, and she ensures that I get out and do my walking and doing, doing exercise, because exercise is really important. 
First with the nation's top 30. Yeah. A consummate professional, always able to meet any challenge. Just to recap now, at number 10, still there, Depeche Mode and Master and Servant. At nine, but he says his condition is testing him. When you have dark moments, that tends to be as a result of uh, depression, because it is easy to get depressed about your situation, and it, it manifests itself in a lot of ways. Lack of energy, enthusiasm. He's determined to use his gifts as a broadcaster to raise awareness about Parkinson's. I've met lots of exciting people and played lots of exciting music. And it's an opportunity for me now to kind of put something back in the sense that I'd like to share my experiences of Parkinson's with people who are either just going through it or, or fearful they might be. Don't be afraid, don't be scared. Come on board, enjoy the journey, we're going to have fun together. David Jensen is passionate about giving hope.